Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we have a tutorial on how to benchmark and monitor your frames per second while gaming on a PC. This is a very essential tool for testing your computer's power, testing overclocks, and making sure you're utilizing your PC's resources and getting the best gaming experience. FPS, or frames per second, is simple. The amount of frames that your computer can produce on your screen per second. For reference, quote, next-gen consoles are still only outputting 30 frames per second on some games. This may seem low, but consoles are able to produce a very steady 30 FPS, so it doesn't look as bad as you may think. Keep this in mind when you're setting your graphics setting and attempting to retrieve a set frame rate. Personally, 60 frames per second is what I aim for. A steady 60 frames per second produces a very clean gaming experience and definitely beats out a console any day. However, everyone has a different frames per second tolerance, so set your graphics accordingly. Okay, enough about what frames per second is and how many frames per second you want to achieve. Let's get into tracking it. The first thing you're going to need to do is head over to www.fraps.com. If you haven't heard of Fraps by now, it's a real-time video capture and benchmarking software. I don't recommend this software for video capture because there are a ton of other great options out there. Looking at you, NVIDIA Shadowplay but it's one of the cleanest and lightweight frames per second counters out there. Once you're on the site, click download from the top and download the latest setup file. This is a very small file, less than five megabytes. Once downloaded, open up the setup.exe file and click run and then I agree. Select an install location, the default location should be fine, and click next and then install. Close the installer and you're ready for the next step, actually using fraps. Now, Open up Fraps and you will see four sections at the top, General, FPS, Movies, and Screenshots. Under the General tab, you will find basic settings for the software, such as Start Fraps Minimized, Run Fraps When Windows Starts, and so on. I left these on the default setting and went straight to the FPS tab. In this section, first you can set the location where to save your benchmarks. In this folder, every time you benchmark your FPS, it will create a text file where it will display the settings that you have chosen also in this section. You can pick FPS, frame times, and min-max average benchmarks. You can also set the benchmark to stop after a certain amount of seconds. Keep in mind, if this setting isn't checked, the benchmark will continue until you hit the hotkey that you have chosen or when you close whatever game you are running. Finally, you can simply monitor your FPS by just having Fraps open when in-game. Fraps will output your active FPS counter in the corner of your choosing. I hope this tutorial was enough for you guys to learn exactly how to monitor and benchmark your frames per second while PC gaming. PC gaming is elite compared to consoles because of the ability to tweak your hardware and your settings to produce the best quality gaming experience. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments section and I will answer them. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.